Hi foodies and welcome back to my channel. Today is day two of what I'm going to do with pork chop. Now yesterday you saw me marinate some in a sauce and this was a sauce. Now I didn't say what was in it. Um, it just says tangy jerk barbecue marinade and sauce with scotch bonnet, chilies, allspice, herb, and herb blend. So, um, yeah, so there's a lot of um, concentrated tomato paste, onion, uh, red scotch bonnet, chili puree, scotch bonnet, chili peppers. Yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing actually really that bad in this, so yeah, I'm happy with that. So, what am I going to make? Well, I've got a pan and I'm going to show you what I've got in that pan and show you what we're cooking. So, let's get cooking, let's get cooking. So, in this pan, you can see that I've got some oil. I have some sweet corn, I also have some Brussels sprouts, you can use any vegetables you want, this is what I'm using, it's whatever you've got left in the fridge, the freezer and your cupboards. And I've also added salt and pepper, so we're going to cook them now. I also put on some brown rice and the brown rice is ready to go with whatever I'm doing. So basically you just want to heat these through because as I said they're frozen. So you want to heat them through. Once these are heated through, we will put them to one side because I'm going to mix this vegetables with the rice. And then we're going to put our barbecue pork on top of that. So as I said once again, it's just what I have in cupboards things that need using up before they go to waste. I know everyone keeps banging on about, oh weird, we don't have this much money or we don't have that money. Even if you have, you still don't want to be wasting anything. As I said, my mum used to do it when we were little. So it's nothing new. It's just that we forgot the ways because of supermarkets and yeah, the internet, you know. Anyway, I'm not going to go into that because it's controversial. So once these are heated up, I will bring you back. Now as you can see, that's heated up. So I'm going to empty this um, because we want to cook uh, next to our um, pork strip. Now I have some oil in the bottom of the pan, and yes, I'm using the same pan, saves washing up. And we're just going to cook that up. No, no, I don't know if any of, well, 
if you've seen some of my videos you'll know that I'm not really keen on barbecue but I wanted to give this one a try I have found one barbecue that I've liked you know we'll see what this one's like it actually has the smell of um, daddy's sauce I'd say as in the daddy's brown sauce now I want to turn that down and I'm just going to let them pieces fly off. So when we come back to the next stage, I'll bring you back. So that's my pork nearly done. So the next thing I want to do is add my rice and my vegetables and we're going to mix that for Now we'll mix that through so that we have some nice flavour to the rice and that the rice isn't just plain and boring. So when this is done, I'll bring it back and we'll give it the taste test. And as you can see, that's all finished in my bowl. So we're going to give this a taste test. So here we go with the taste test. Piece of pork. That marinade is absolutely. Mm. it's not sweet it's not sickly a little spice mm. I definitely recommend that one for someone if you don't like barbecue sauce then try that one because it is a nice one. Mm. As I said again, it's simple, easy to make. Yeah, you have to marinate it. Marinate it for 10 minutes overnight. It's up to yourself. I will go and enjoy that for the rest of my dinner. So if you like the content, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. Click the notification bell for new uploads. Leave a comment in the comment box. If there's another meat or anything that you'd like me to use to see what I can do within recipes, like this mini series, then let me know in the comment box. So that's all for this one, foodies. Goodbye.